Hey everyone. I wanted to share one of my favorite games on DOS, and that is the Tomb Raider game. Now, yeah, I know Tomb Raider was originally released uh, in 1996 for the PS1, but they did make a version for DOS. That's what we're playing right here. This is the Tomb Raider 1 demo for DOS. Now, before I go too much further, let me actually look into the settings here and remind you that I am actually running this at full resolution detail levels, you can see I'm running at high. So any blockiness you see is actually representative of the game as it ran on the original PS1. Now, if you haven't played Tomb Raider before, uh, you play as Lara Croft, you can see on screen here, and she runs around the world and she explores various tombs, hence the name, and uh, uh, tries to not get killed, which I'm gonna do a very bad job of here because I'm very bad apparently at uh, shooting and talking. Uh, so, oops, the, uh, yeah, you can see again, I'm just very bad. Um, and I think that's it. And so this is the first level from, uh, Tomb Raider 1. Now, I always found it helpful to run around with her guns up because whenever there's an enemy around, she'll point her guns at it, like, oh, right there. There it is. Oops. There it is. That's sort of a good reminder there's something going on. I just kind of like to explore what's around here. So in here, looks like nothing's here. I actually haven't played this demo in a while. Oh, some bats up here. Is that it? All right, I think that was it for the bats. Now we'll we'll go down this hallway here in a little bit to uh, explore the center. But I'm just going to explore the edges first. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, there is. Yep, yep. There's an animal. There's a wolf. Anything else over here? Oh yeah, there's something over there. What is that? Here, let's put away my guns and we'll take a little step forward. And can I activate that? Oh, that's jump. And it looks like there is a little something over there. So let's go over there. There we go, picked it up. All right, let's get our guns back out. All right, what's over here? Ah, so, oops, oops hang on, a little bat or something over there. Yep, that's a bat. So here's a door, and you can see right over here is a lock. And so we'll be able to open that door if we get a key. Oops, what am I shooting at here? Probably another bat. A couple more bats. And if I recall this level correctly, I'm basically going around a gigantic square. And so I should eventually end up back at the original space with all those little friendly uh, little wolves. And I think this is the entrance up here. Yep, this looks like the entrance that I came in. So I've now traversed an entire square. So let's go ahead and explore the central area. Let me put my guns away. Explore the central area. That looks that looks nice over here. Really nice graphics. The uh, yeah, this is exactly what it looked like on the original PS One. Now here is uh, probably some sort of a cenote, um, something. But we'll we'll go and explore that here in a second. You can see the water. What's in here? Oh, yep, that's a bear. I made a bear. Back up. Oh, I'm taking some damage. Ooh, can I? Oh, okay, okay, I got rid of the bear. Do I have any health? Let's stop and get my health here. Okay, yeah, I picked up that health a little bit ago. So let's go and get that small medipack. There we go. I can put my guns away. I think I've cleared this room. So what's in this room? Let's go over here. That looks like a way up. There we go. Jump up. What's over here? Oh yeah, there's there's some health. If you hold down the shift key, you can actually walk. There we go. We got another half health here. Let's go back down. What else did we have here? So this is the central area, and so you can see these different pathways running off to different areas. Oh, there's something over there. What's that? Ah, this is a handle. 
that opens a door. Okay, let's go inside here. All right, so again, part of a uh, ancient uh, cavern system. And we'll sort of run up these stairs here. And here we have a little little jump here. And that's I've gone as far as I can, so I'll back up one. And now, what's my jump key? All right, remind ourselves what the jump key is. Here we go, I made it. Oh, and I didn't get to jump to that other uh, spot in time, so I didn't get that extra health up there, so I'm kind of messed up there. Let's go ahead and just, I guess, push this forward. This is a movable block. Keep pushing. Really going through a big tunnel here. I'm impressed that she can push this gigantic block. Looks like we're coming at the end here, so we'll just push it one more time. All right, I made it through. Some other stuff over here. What else is back here? Oh, that's a bat. Any other bats over here? Ooh, what is that? That could be a key. I have picked up some kind of a key. All right. And what else do we have over here? Was this something grabbable? All right. I picked up something else. What else do we have over here? Oh, there's up. Let's go up. Let's go over here so we can jump on top of our block. There we go. Made it up on top. What else do we have over here? Oh, we have a bat. All right, let's get rid of the bats. All right, she's not aiming anything, so it must be good. And that's it. All right. Back in the hallway, there's our bear. Let's go check out this water. There's our tunnel. Let's go see what's down here. I usually go off to the right before I go anywhere. What is down here here? Let's take a look. All right, what's over here? Oh, there's a lever. A lever. Oh, good. I need I need air, so let's go up there and get some air. <laughs> All right. Now before I get out, let's go back in. Make sure there's nothing else over here that I need. Check everything here. It'd be really embarrassing if I miss something. Oh, what's this? Looks like it's another lever. Oh, all right. A little open the door. It's been such a long time since I played this game. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, that little noise indicates that we have found a secret area. I picked up some health. Clearly somebody's been here before. And that is a lever on the wall, which is probably going to open that door. All 
There it is. Doors open. All right. Now we had a secret area. Let's go look at the secret area. Let's explore the water again. I seem to recall that's where the secret area was. Because when I went down here, I noticed that there was a little passageway off to the left. Let's go check the left. And this looks like that area where we opened up the door. That looks like the door we opened over there. Anything over here behind me? I'm not seeing anything behind me. Let's go check. Not seeing anything over here. All right. Head back. What was through here? Oh, a secret area. Well, that's good to know. Okay, now those are ammo clips. I remember that. Those were ammo clips for an automatic pistol that we can pick up later on in the game. So now we've got uh, ammo for it. Okay, we'll pick up the other health here. But uh, I think the demo level is almost done. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to find the exit. Since we have our key... Let's go back to the main room. And remember, we had that uh, that door that required a key. So let's go back there. There we go. There's another. I think that's where we came from here. And now let's go find the door that had the key. Where was the door with the key? Let's try this way. I think it was this way. All right, this is the area we came in. So I think then the door, I know it was this way. So it must be past the next uh, junction. There's our dead bats. Oh yeah, the door was, I think, past here. And there we are. So here's the door. And then over here is a space where you can insert a key, which will insert our silver key. What was the other thing we picked up? We picked up a gold idol, but we'll go ahead and just insert the silver key. And now we've opened the door. Oh, oh, okay. I ran right into a trap, but that was the end of the level. So uh, yeah, that's uh, Tomb Raider 1 demo. Uh, for DOS running on FreeDOS 1.3. Now, uh, before I go, I just want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen, so thank you very much for your support. Some of you are supporting me at a higher level, and I want to thank you here, especially here for that, so thank you very much again. Visit our website at FreeDOS.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.